I dream a world where man, no other man will scorn, where love will bless the earth and peace its path adorn. I dream a world where all will know sweet freedom's way, where greed no longer saps the soul, nor avarice blights our day. A world I dream where black or white, whatever race you be, will share the bounties of the earth and every man is free. Where wretchedness will hang its head and joy like a pearl, attends the needs of all mankind, of such I dream my world. World Day of Social Justice is an international day recognizing the need to promote social justice, which includes efforts to tackle issues such as poverty, exclusion, gender inequality, unemployment, human rights, and social protections. Many organizations, including the United Nations, the American Library Association, and the International Labour Organization, have made statements on the importance of social justice for the people. Most organizations also present plans for greater social justice by tackling poverty, social and economic exclusion, and unemployment. The United Nations General Assembly has decided to observe 20th February annually, approved on 26 November 2007 and starting in 2009 as World Day of Social Justice. The declaration focuses on guaranteeing fair outcomes for all through employment, social protection, social dialogue and fundamental rights and principles. Justice for many people refers to fairness. While justice is important to almost everyone, it means different things to different groups. For instance, social justice is the notion that everyone deserves equal economic, political and social opportunities irrespective of race, gender or religion. Distributive justice refers to the equitable allocation of assets in society. Environmental justice is the fair treatment of all people with regard to the environmental burdens and benefits. Restorative or corrective justice seeks to make whole those who have suffered unfairly. Retributive justice seeks to punish wrongdoers objectively and proportionately. Procedural justice refers to implementing legal decisions in accordance with fair and unbased processes. The term social justice means that every person must be treated equally in every circumstance without regard to the difference between the people themselves. For others, social justice represents a just society that allows for the unique potential of each human being to be fully achieved. The various conceptions of social justice include equality, needs, merit and social utility. Like the term itself, defining those who are involved in the causes of social justice can also be widely disparate. Today, the concept of social justice has quite a secular connotation, but its origins are indisputably rooted in what is called Catholic social thought or Catholic social doctrine. Although a reference to social justice can be found in the Federalist Papers and inferred from the work of St. Augustine and St. Thomas Aquinas. The coining of the term social justice as a philosophy or a political ideal is most often attributed to the mid-19th century writings of an Italian Catholic priest, Luigi Taparelli. A member of the Society of Jesus, Father Taparelli was said to have influenced Rerum Novarum, the papal encyclical widely considered to be the foundation document of Catholic social thought and social justice movements. Taparelli asserted that social justice was a societal norm or construct where individuals, families and associations would be permitted the maximum range of liberty and pursuit of the good with the minimum interference or directions from the governmental authorities. Social justice at its fundamental level is based on premise that each human being is made in the image and likeness of God. Social justice is necessary in order to help people to live their lives with authentic meaning, free to become their truest selves without interference from and with the assistance or societal structures, including government. Social justice is also grounded in the common good. The common good begins with the presumption that all human life from conception to natural death merits dignity and respect and that directly killing is a violation of human dignity. 
to act on behalf of common good means that for each individual or association the optimal conditions backed by societal structures and life affirming laws exist to help them reach their full potential social justice may appear to be an unattainable goal the rights of the individual and the common good will always be in tension but social justice in its truest form is not as some have described it the preference of those who prefer government solutions funded by the redistribution of wealth a society or structure that prevents another from developing his or her talents or from forming and maintaining healthy and loving family lives and friendships contravenes both the dignity of the human person and the common good a true social justice framework is where where the sum total of social conditions exist where people may fully develop their talents and gifts thank, thank you, you.